light enters at an angle of incidence in a transparent road of refractive index n for what value of refractive index of the material of the road the light once entered into it will not leave it through its lateral face whatsoever be the value of angle of incidence that is we are making a ray of light to incident right now it is passing from rarer to tenser it will bend towards the normal and it incident here at an angle theta such that the light bend into the surface back right it is not going out okay so we have to find the refractive index of this inside material now from figure we can directly conclude here see if it is incident here at a critical angle theta let us assume this critical angle is theta it will reflect back now if we complete this triangle okay if this angle is r and this angle is theta so this angle is 90 so the theta can be written as right the theta can be written as 90 minus r okay it is very easy so from figure we can directly write theta plus r theta plus r is 90 so theta is equals to 90 minus r and for total internal reflection the angle theta should be greater than the critical angle okay if it is less than critical angle the light will go out of the surface most of the light will go out of the surface so here if we use this condition that is sin theta is greater than sin i c okay that is a critical angle theta is greater than i c then sin theta is greater than sin i c but what is theta here 90 minus r so here sin instead of theta i have put 90 minus r is greater than sin i c so sin 90 minus r sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so it is sin 90 minus r can be rewritten as cos r that is cos r is greater than sin i c so remember this expression which we call expression one now for surface a for this surface we can use snell's law right so that is n is equals to refractive index of the inner surface n right is n so n is equals to sin i upon sin r okay so it is sin i upon sin r now let us make this r as a subject so sin r is equals to sin i by n there is a refractive index right we are doing this okay now what we have obtained right we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 just make cos square theta as a subject so we can write cos square theta is equals to 1 minus sin square theta then cos theta is equals to under root 1 minus sin square r so instead of theta we are using r here okay because we are interested in r so cos r is equals to under root 1 minus sin square r so here 1 now what is sin square sin r what is sin r sin r is sin i by n what is sin r we have obtained sin i by n so instead of sin square r we can write sin square i by n square okay now again from equation 1 what we have obtained here we have obtained that cos r is greater than sin i c right so here what we have done is this cos r we have obtained here this is our cos r okay well, how we have obtained cos theta is equals to under root 1 minus sin square theta so cos r is equals to under root 1 minus sin square r so cos r is equals to this term 1 minus uh, see under root 1 minus sin square i by n square now this value of cos r can be directly we put here put here right here okay so cos r is equals to is greater than sin i c so instead of cos r right i have put this term here so instead of cos r we have used this term so 1 minus sin square i by n square is greater than sin i c okay so again carrying forward carry forward this equation so it is 1 minus sin now square root on both uh, squaring both the side right so if we square on both the side then we will get 1 minus sin square i by n square is greater than sin square i c now what we know for total internal reflection sin uh, i c sin i c is equals to 1 upon eta so if i have sin square i c then i can write 1 upon n square okay so now again uh, placing this towards right side then we will get 1 is greater than 1 by n square this is minus so it will go right side it will become plus sin square i by n square now 1 upon n square is common from both the side so 1 is greater than 1 upon n square right in bracket here 1 and here we are left with sin square i so sin square i now we know that the maximum value of sin theta is 1 the maximum value of sin theta is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so we can directly write 1 is greater than 2 by n square right now just make n square as a subject so n square is greater than 2 so n is greater than root 2 so the correct answer is option c